Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, May 29th, Memorial Day weekend, and we hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And I will be joining you golfing and fishing later <laughs> this weekend. But this morning presented us a great opportunity to kind of stop and reflect back on some of the systems, in particular one system that we have been running with our members for a number of years now. Let me just say this. Let me first say who I am. Excuse me. I am Don Marshall, otherwise known as Bagger Don at StockMarketCaddy.com that I founded with my beautiful wife, Susan. And we founded StockMarketCaddy.com now some 10 to 15 years ago. We are not Wall Streeters. We are not brokers or borkers or financial advisors. We do not make specific recommendations to anyone to do specific buying and selling of anything. We are a mentoring site. I spent my career some 25 years teaching surgeons how to do surgery with the most sophisticated instrumentation of the day. My wife Susan worked with IBM, Lotus Software, and is the brains. <laughs> I married up behind StockMarketCaddy.com. I hope soon Susan will be making her own videos. That said, please understand that the model, the strategy I'm about to show you, I'm going to take you behind the curtain. And yes, I've had members say, Donald, do not show this on YouTube. <laughs> um, we're going to take you behind. We're going to we're going to explain how it runs. We're going to show you the performance over the last 10 years. We're going to show you the performance over the last rolling 12 months and we're going to show you what it's done from January to this year. Sound like a plan? Okay. Please understand I am not soliciting anyone to join Stock Market Caddy based on this performance or this performance alone. We really do not want anyone joining stock this sounds crazy right but we do not want anyone joining the stock market caddy for a single indicator or strategy at oh, we have found the holy grail the bible code and if i subscribe i'm going to be rich not likely we are a mentoring site is this nicholas timing model available to our members yes all of our indicators, all of our strategies, everything is available to our members. And we take it one step further. We teach on an ongoing basis how to use these tools so that our members can find their way through the markets. Can you still have a broker or a financial advisor? Absolutely. Absolutely. And but having these tools might help you to ask, will help you, we believe, to ask some very pertinent questions. So if somehow, some way you found us today or and this will be archived of course on YouTube, please watch and learn. Feel free to visit our website at stockmarketcaddy.com. And also know you can call me. I'm a real person and I will pick up even on the weekend or in the evening. If I'm available, I'm going to pick up that phone. This is our passion. My phone number, 813-758-8263. And over the next few minutes, I'm going to take you behind the curtain, show you how it works, and show you the results as an educational example. 
Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> and you might want to set um, your YouTube. Um, we broadcast our, to our members in high definition. We, we do broadcast that daily, um, almost 24-7 to our members on demand. And we use Zoom. On YouTube, you might want to set this in high definition. So the most recent trade of Nicholas, and it is a trade, trading the ES, Russell, YM, the NQ, and the VIX, was on the 20th, confirmed on the 21st. And if a person or a member had placed one mini contract in this trade, they would be up 14,702. Now, this is scalable. If you had traded a micro, 1,400. A mini, 14,000. Five minis, five times that. All scalable. Let's take you to the strategy. Let's give you a view behind the curtain. So this is a chart of the ES contract running the Nicholas strategy. And before you say, aha, I know what he's doing. He's using those Bollinger Bands. Well, um, actually, this, we, we like Bollinger Bands, and I like to have them on. But the truth of the matter is, <clears throat> um, Nicholas is not running the, the, um, the Bollinger Bands. We have them on as a reference, as a point of reference. You really can't see the signals you can see the the actual I should, let me put it this way you can see the signals going in and out and we have been in a period of chop much of this year but um you or, or at least this month here um but you can't see the criteria because we don't use traditional criteria and let me show you as an example what we're doing we come here we're going to edit symbol this chart is on the es futures mini contract and it's the 20 may um the 29th this isn't that crazy it's 10 it's 11 years to the day i don't even think i realized that that's pretty wild wow that that is isn't it it's the 29th boy i'm even happier now that i decided to do this today i didn't realize but um on the 29th of oh i'm sorry <laughs> no that's today damn what a dummy um i'm sorry it was January 1, January 1 of 2009. I was thinking that was 2000. It started in 2009, excuse me. And so data two is the, the VIX. Don't know what the VIX is. We just don't have time to explain in this video. But it's taking the data of the VIX. It's also taking the yield of the 10-year treasury. Do treasuries go up or down on the basis of interest rates? Yes, they do. Do you know what? Do you know what happens to a treasury if it goes up or if the yield goes up or if the yield goes down? We don't. If you don't, we don't have time here to explain that. But our, trust me, our members understand. Your trading can really grow exponentially. It goes from playing checkers to chess if you can begin to learn the relationships between markets. And there is relationships. Trust me. So we want to see the performance of this Nicholas. So let's go look. So get a pencil out, get ready, and we look. Since inception, this is what everyone wants to look at, but we're going to go much deeper. If you had put in one mini contract on every single trade since January of 2009, you would have realized 166,705. So I'm going to write that down. And we're going to do this market by market. Now, there's a lot of information here that we could glean, and we just don't have the time. But we do do this, and if it's sitting on your computer, you can do this too. But um, let's go to the um, performance reports. This is an equity graph. And you can see what it's done over time. Kind of flatlined for a little while. Had a run up of about 20,000 and then run up. Now remember, our members are diversified in terms of how they trade. They might trade the mini contracts. They might trade options. They might trade micros. They might just use these signals as a, um, as a barometer as to what they want to do. Let's go to trade graphs. I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, periodical reviews. This is what we want to look at. 
the the last this is a um, uh, mark to market this is the last 12 months cumulative gain this is actually cumulative over the last 12 months that number we're gonna write that down is 30,935 that's over the last 12 months and it's broken out month by month but if we drop down here we want you to see this um, in from 20 to 2021 it did a hundred and um, this is mark to market uh, 115 grand this year from January to today it's actually it has lost 7,320 and it has been a bit of a choppy market for for Nicholas but this is the the rolling period that we're most interested in let's go to the the Nicholas timing model and um, let me just double check I want to make sure that this also goes back I'll do it with you in the interest of time I was going to pause but we won't do that we'll go with you I want to make sure as well there it is January 1 so we get the same time frame so let's look at the performance and we want um, now that's pretty sweet huh so this is on the NQ that's um, 200 and 66,278 since inception profit factor of 1.71 let's go to the periodical review this year um, we'll come here the last row it's this is actually a collection this this is mark to market month to month but this is also um, gives us the 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 last 12 month period and it's fifty thousand dollars 188 is what you're looking at and then year to date it has also struggled it's down 26,885 now of course you know we're, we're showing this if one had taken the trade and followed it all the way through many times we're not showing you the high water and low water marks but um and we'll show you the performance graph this is the graph this is a beautiful looking look at that um, here's a little bit of a pull down but that's since inception what I was going to say is similar we showed you where we are month to date right in that trade that's up 14 grand we may have members that choose to take that 14 grand Nicholas may go on to lose that money and lose by a grand or two so if you become a, an adept trader you can you know try to improve on the performance let's look at the YM here is the YM performance graph this is the Dow by the way that was the Nasdaq so let's look this is since inception and that's a hundred and eighty we'll total these a hundred and eighty three thousand oh, my pen keeps snapping I'm sorry I don't mean to keep clicking on you a hundred and eighty three thousand three oh three this is for the YM. The 12 month, um, let's go to periodical returns. We want um, for the last 12 months, we've done 26,293. And then from January to today, the YM is done 1405. So pretty, pretty modest. And let's um and that's fine you know systems this is a longer term you know you know it's not trade this is not intraday trading or even you know daily you know you could I mean the average holding time is about five days so it's you know it's not long long term but it is we're looking at results over the long term I meant to say so let's first this is the Russell and this is the graph of the Russell and let's look at the performance summary so it's been fairly modest on the Russell and that's been our observation and from the model one might choose you know what I'm not going to trade the Russell in that fashion that'd be okay but 58,158 let's look at the periodical return the rolling 12 months is a loss of 
4,132. 132 and this year it's lost 16,000 16,695 now it's not to say again that our members you know scalped but um, it is what it is folks now we're going to go to the VIX and we want to look at the VIX structure this is the VIX itself over inception and the VIX is since inception 48,030 sorry and let's look at the rolling 12 months is a loss of 5,356 and year to date um, Yes, year, that's year to date. It's lost $276. So if you've written down those numbers, you can total them. I'm going to total them as well. And we'll come right back here and share with you what it would have done. Okay, um, so how much money would a person have made if they had taken every single signal since January 1 of 2009. Please understand though, we did not even have this strategy in January of 2009. We became aware of what the markets were doing and the concept was probably now what, maybe 2016, 2017 or so thereabouts. But that would have been a return of 722,534, okay? In no way, again, I cannot stress this enough, we're not suggesting that you're going to make this in the next 10 years. You may have made more than this, you know, if one had done it. You may make more of this if one does it in the future. You know, it, that is up to each individual member, but they have this tool on their desktop. So now the question is, what has it done in the last 12 months? Not year to date, we're gonna give you that number, but what has it done in the last 12 months? and let us put that in. So Nicholas, in the last 12 months, as of today, May, oops, May 29th, you can see the, um, let's bring that up here, show you the date, right? So we, may, as of right now, person would have done 77,927. So what about year to date? What about since January? So year to date, from January to May, if a person had taken every sig sig every every signal, easy for me to say, this year, unfortunately, they would be down forty nine thousand seven seven one. Now, could we have members that are down worse than that? It's possible. I hope not, but it's possible. Could we have mer members that are actually profitable? Yes, possible. Um, depending upon how they chose to manage. Did they, it's because it's possible on this particular trade, for instance, on Nicholas, he's up 14,702. Could you or another member bank that money? Yes. Would I have wanted to bank it? Yes, <laughs> knowing what I know about the markets. But um, Nicholas may stay in this trade because he's mechanical, he's very mechanical, and it may ultimately lose $5,000. It's possible so but it is what it is trading in the markets is a game of probabilities it is also uncertainty there is no trade there is no Bible code there is no way to remove risk from the equation what there is what we are able to do and what we teach is managing that risk, managing it. I want to thank you for spending your time with us, and I want to wish you a very happy Memorial Day weekend. If you want to surround yourself with other like-minded people who are giving Wall Street a run, we're not going to win the game. This isn't a game that can be won, only a game that can be played. We're not going to beat the market per se. Can we do better? Yes. 
Can we win on every single trade? No. Can we go, can our equity curve just go from peak to peak to peak and not experience a drawdown? No. But we're out to trade in a repeatable fashion and we use strategies similar to Nicholas and we use them on different intervals on different markets to help our overall performance. Feel free to give me a call. I'm Don, Don Marshall, otherwise known as Bagger Don, trying to help you through this maze. And I can be reached at 813-758-8263. Thanks so much.